Hi everyone, welcome to WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Crunchyroll buffering issue. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also, press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. If you're trying to stream your favorite anime or shows with Crunchyroll but you are not being able to do so since your Crunchyroll video keeps buffering, then the first thing to do is to check if you are connected to your Wi-Fi or not. Try switching between Wi-Fi or your cellular data and find the best internet speed for streaming videos on Crunchyroll. Once you've got a secure connection, Tap open your Crunchyroll app one more time and see if that fixes your issue. If that does not work, then the next thing to do is to go to your Play Store. In the search box, search for Crunchyroll and check if your app is up to date to the latest version. If you see an open button popping up right next to the app, that means your application is up to date. But if you see an update button popping right next to it, then it means you'll need to download the latest version of the application. Simply tap on the update button and get the latest version. Now, once you update your app, go to your Crunchyroll application and see if that fixes your issue. If that still does not work, the next thing you can do is to go to your settings and under settings, select apps. This page shows you all of the applications that are installed on your Android device, go and find Crunchyroll and once you spot it, give it a tap. From the app info page for Crunchyroll, tap on storage. Now from this page, simply go ahead and clear your cache and data. To clear out your cache data, tap on clear cache at the lower right hand corner. Now tap on clear data at the lower left hand corner and in the pop-up that asks you if you move forward then all of the application's data will be deleted permanently. This includes files, settings, accounts, databases, etc. If you want to continue moving on, tap OK, but make sure that you know your credentials before doing this since you'll lose all of its data permanently. Tap on OK and once you do that, go back to Crunchyroll application from the app drawer and tap it on. You'll need to go ahead and log into your account by entering your credentials again since you've erased all the data your Crunchyroll app has. Tap log in, type in your credentials and log into your account just like that and check if that solved your buffering issue. Those were some of the fixes that you could try out whenever you are having trouble with your Crunchyroll since it's buffering and not letting you watch your favorite shows online. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.